Hi Kevin, it's Sunday. In your last video you talked a lot about narcissism following along with your current theme of perspective. I don't think we should shy away from talking about things that we feel like talking about, even if it's something we've talked about before, because in the end these are our videos, and if anybody doesn't like them then they don't have to watch them. That's just it. Which is a little bit narcissistic to say, but you know. They are our videos. Now something I've noticed in my life is that people who tend to be more narcissistic tend to be less happy. It follows that when you think about the world revolving around you, and that not only means that all the good things that happen happened for you, it means that all the bad things that happened happened for you. This can lead to feelings of low self-esteem, paranoia, and a host of other feelings that are just no fun to deal with. You start to think of yourself as part of a whole, you start to process things in a more empathetic way. I once watched a documentary on Netflix called Happy. It was a very good documentary, and what I learned from it was that people who are more communal in their goals tend to be happier than those who are more individualistic. I'm not talking about a death of individualism here, of course, everyone has the right to be who they want to be, but at the same time it's good for us all as individuals to work together. Okay, so Kevin, I mentioned before on here that I'm a writer, and I of course have told you a few times that I'm a writer. On Friday I signed up for a website called Lit Reactor that I've been planning on signing up for for a few months. I paid $9 for my first month, and it let, lets me use the writing workshop section of the website, which lets me post things that I've written and get reviews from other people. The cool thing about the website is that it uses a point system. You start out with 15 points, which is how many points you need to post a work, and then you earn points by reviewing other people's works. Based on their rating of not helpful, helpful, or very helpful, you'll get anywhere from 1 to 3 points from their review, so the better your reviews, the quicker you can start posting more work and, of course, getting more reviews. Now, what this has to do with narcissism is that when you review other people's works, it starts to make you better at writing and it starts to make you notice that other people struggle with a lot of the things that you struggle with, too, as a writer, and also with things that you don't struggle with and that you can help them with. All in all, it's a great service, and I definitely recommend it to anyone who's trying to be a writer. Also, quick talk about one of the books I got. Eat the Reaper by Josh Basil. Pretty good book so far. Honestly, I'm only a chapter in, but I feel like the writing style's really good. I definitely didn't pick it because it had a cool cover. Look at that cover. So blue. Blue. I like blue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, Kevin. Good day, YouTube. Good day. Also got a shark.